Let's see how to build the transform diagram. First, we print out both the desired input and output records and highlight matching cells. In this case, we're working on only the rank one row. This value moves to here, this value moves to here. All we do is replace the example value with the column name from the row record, in this case, date one. Then we copy that naming back to the other record, in this case, the block record. We do the same for op1. This means we've now replaced the incidental values with the symbolic names of the values we're moving. We do this again for the rank two record, highlighting what we're gonna change, drawing in the transformational arrows just for our own thinking, copying the column name into the cell in the row form record, and then copying that information back to the origin block record so we see what cell corresponds to which cell by name. And then of course, we repeat the process for the remaining rank, rank three. Once all these steps are done, the block record is actually the complete transform specification. It's just a matter of copying that record with the symbolic names into Python or R. This value-oriented diagram of the data transform can be used in the R or Python versions of C data to actually implement the data transform, but we think more importantly, this sort of, diagram this sort of diagrammatic thinking gives you some very important tools for thought and planning and design. Please give C data a try. Thank you.